Starting an e-commerce business can be both exciting and challenging. Today, I will break this down to some few simple steps and some few useful tips. So let's just get started with this right away. First of all, what you got to do is you have to do the research. You have to identify a niche market or product that you're passionate about and that has demand. So those are the two key concepts. It has to be in demand, some demand, and you got to be passionate about it, right? That's maybe the most important part. If you think about it, if you're passionate about something, if you like something, if you love something that you do, well, it's going to be easier for you to stick to it over a long period of time. It's easier for you to stay focused because after all, it'll come down to consistency. It'll come down to your efforts and dedication. And it's far easier if you do something that you love. Also, you gotta research your target audience. You gotta research your competitors and industry trends just to understand the market landscape, right? Then you will go over to develop your business plan just develop a comprehensive business plan and you got to outline your goals, your target market, product offerings, and your strategy, right? A well thought out plan will serve as a roadmap for your e-commerce venture. Grab a pen and paper and just put down your goals, right? Don't go too unrealistic. And when you do all this and when you choose your products, when you decide what do you want to pursue, what do you want to sell? Well, it's time for you to create an online store for yourself. I'm not going to talk about where you will do the marketing and all of that because that's a separate topic. But creating your online store is the bread and butter. You probably have heard about all these platforms and I'm not going to talk about the most popular ones simply because I use something that is ahead of the market right now. It's called Dokan.co. You can just Google for it. And this has been based on WordPress and WooCommerce. What I like about this one is that it is pretty user friendly. So even if you're just a beginner, you will have all the support that you need. And what I like about this one as well are these payment gateways. All right, you've got many options here. And it's really important to have options. Common options are PayPal, Stripe and all of those. And these fellas, they've got it everything, but it has to be convenient for your customers, right? Down the road, you never know what else you will have to integrate into your platform. And it's good to have options right? This website has a lot of options. And what I really like about this one is that there's always support for you. So whenever you feel stuck or have any question in your mind, they're always there to help. They do have few options for you. You can use Dokkan Cloud or you can use this WordPress plugin. It's your choice. This one is really good. I use this WordPress plugin. And as I've told you, very, very user friendly. They've got free trial as well, which is going to be 14 days for you. So you can just try it out and see if it's going to work for you. But what I really wanted to talk about when it comes to this one is that they've got new product, which is called Dokkan Cloud. Now, this is a new independent cloud based solution. This offers greater flexibility. And while it's recently launched, they've got many extraordinary and futuristic features packed in. And of course, they're looking into the future. They're looking to expand and always bring more features inside. What they offer so far is code-free customization, modern page builder for some stunning storefronts of your own, multiple vendor management, customer and order management. Apart from that, they've got mobile app as well. And honestly, it is very user friendly. There's a lot of advanced analytics and statistics and reports. It's really useful. And as you can see, you've got many options with this. Whichever niche you are in, whatever product you're looking at, they've got you covered. And yes, it's very affordable. And this is good for beginners because when you're just starting out your e-commerce business, you want to save up money. There's a lot of things that you got to invest, the products, the page, whatever. Marketing, of course, which is the next strategy, next point that I want to talk about. So it's good if you, for example, manage to save some money on this. And as I've told you numerous times, it's really user friendly. You can manage everything from one place. You can scale your business easier without compromising speed or performance. And of course, the pricing is very, very good. As you can see for the basic plan, it's only $69 per month. On top of it, it's going to cost you 1% of your revenue, which is almost unexistent. And of course, you can explore the features down there. Do not forget, there's also 14-day free trial. No credit card required for this one. 
So you've got 14 days for free to explore. And while the current feature set is impressive, they're actively engaged in development to deliver even more exciting functionalities in the future. So what you gotta do, just visit dokan.co and explore the platform in order to launch your online store. All you have to do is to go over to dokan.co, click on the products here, go over to Dokan Cloud and start a free 14 day free trial. Use your Google account and start exploring. When you make yourself an account, when you start your free trial, this is what you're gonna be greeted with. So first of all, you will just have to type your name, your store name. So for this example, I'll just use like Mr. Money's Place. They will give you a subdomain, which you can change of course. You just have to be check if it's available. This one is. So let's just go back to default. Now just click on start creating marketplace. Now you've got a few simple questions to answer. So what stage are you in? So you've got four options. And if you're just starting out, I suggest using this one, this first one. Now what is the size of your current audience? Let's just say that from 100 to 1000. And what's your previous experience running a business? Once again, if you're just a beginner, choose I haven't started a business before or any of the other ones, if that applies to you. Now, when you click on the next, you will of course choose the country and you can see that is available all over the world. And then your store will be created in a matter of seconds. Once you do get inside, you have this like checklist to complete. General settings include time zone, currency, your logo, and just some simple usual information, usual settings that you prefer, business details, domain, brand. Here you can upload your logo and of course your social links down there. When you complete all of that, then you will go on to set up a payment. After that, you're gonna set up a payout and then lastly, set up shipping. Now, just like any other dashboard, this is gonna show your sales, your revenue, commissions, customers, orders, all of it is in one place and it just looks neat. Your products are found here. So if you click on products and then click on all products, you can always add a new product just by clicking here or by clicking here. So add a product, then depends on what you're selling. You've got product name, you get to choose if it's a physical product or a digital product, certain description about it, which category it falls into, and of course, add the images of that product. Down there, you've got the prices, and of course, you can just sort these by your categories and add these to your brands. Adding a brand is a really good thing that you can do for yourself. Add a brand here, and then you can categorize these. And this is the place where you track your orders. All of your orders are gonna be here. Now, when it comes to some automation, you've got integrations here, such as live chat, email marketing service, SMS notifications, such as analytics and marketplace migrator. Honestly, all of these are really useful. And of course, I've told you that free trial will expire in 14 days. So when it feels right, when you see that the platform is good for you, just click on subscribe to a plan here, choose one that fits your needs and you're done with it. Remember, if you've got any questions, support is always there 24 seven for you. When you do this, it's time for a launch. Test everything out, make sure all your products are there and you're ready for marketing. When it comes to marketing though, you will have to have some more experience and yeah, you will need to invest, depends on what you want. But every little thing about e-commerce business requires dedication, persistence, and a willingness to learn from both successes and failures, right? Just stay on your goals, stay adaptable, that's crucial, and don't be afraid to seek guidance. Do a lot of research. There's a lot of things online and you can use all of that to learn and grow and just go baby steps. Also, what I forgot to mention is that Dokkan also has a blog section. There's some really great info on the website as well. One of these is, for example, as you can see, how to drive traffic to your e-commerce store, ultimate guide for beginners. You need 28 minutes to read this one, but it's really, really good. It helped me out. That's all in a nutshell. I wish you good luck and I'll catch you in the next one.